What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric. I'm a realtor here in Flagstaff. This is your first time here. Uh, this channel is all about Flagstaff real estate, living in Flagstaff, and the things that you can do up here throughout the year. Today I'm going to be talking about a neighborhood review and that neighborhood is going to be Ponderosa Trails. Ponderosa Trails is a great neighborhood on the southwest part of Flagstaff. Now, if you're coming up from the Phoenix area, it'll be right off the Flagstaff Airport exit. So it's one of the first neighborhoods that you'll hit coming into town. Ponderosa Trails is a very sought after neighborhood. Um, it has a great mixture of young professionals, young families, lots of children. There are some rental homes, but just a few. And there are also some second homes from people that like to travel up and, and spend a little time, part time out of the year. In terms of getting into the neighborhood, the price range as of right now in this current market, you're looking at getting in at, in the high 400,000s and all the way up to about a million dollars. It's a neighborhood that holds its value very well. When my wife and I bought into this home that we're currently in, I'm, I'm currently in Ponderosa Trails. That's where I live. Uh, this is my backyard. Uh, but when we bought into Ponderosa Trails and the current home that we're in now, we did that in the summer of 2008. And at that time, you could get into a home in Ponderosa Trails in the high 200,000s. Um, so it's a neighborhood that's definitely gone up quite a bit since then and it's a neighborhood that I think is definitely going to hold value for a long time. Uh, there's also been recent news in the area of Ponderosa Trails that the Flagstaff Medical Center, the main hospital here in Flagstaff, they will be moving over near Fort Tuthill in the next few years. They've actually just uh, submitted the permits to the city and so with the hospital moving over here towards this neighborhood, I think that's definitely going to add some value over the years especially down the road in terms of rental potential as well. There are some sub communities here within Ponderosa Trails, uh, which are the Summit and the Retreat and Ponderosa Highlands. Now these are still all somewhat connected to Ponderosa Trails. So a lot of times people re will refer to those neighborhoods even as Ponderosa Trails. Um, Ponderosa Trails was the first initial neighborhood and development in this area and those um, other ones are kind of add-ons. Ponderosa Highlands, those are all townhomes. Um, so if you're looking for maybe a townhome, something that might be a little bit less expensive, uh, that's an option for you as well to get into this neighborhood. Another cool thing about Ponderosa Trails is the Flagstaff Urban Trail System runs through Ponderosa Trails. So you have a, a lot of opportunity to uh, ride your bike. The kids can ride their bike over to the Ponderosa Trails Park, which has a nice little playground for kids, it has the open grass fields where kids can play soccer, baseball. Sometimes there'll be small events that are held in that, in that open field as well. Um, so there's a lot to do within the neighborhood and um, you know, it works out really well. Some of the other advantages to this neighborhood is you're about a mile uh, to the Flagstaff Airport, which is super convenient if you like to fly and get out of town. The Flagstaff Airport is, has been growing and they offer flights to Phoenix, Dallas, and Denver now. And you can almost walk there, but you can you know, make it super easy if you're flying out of Flagstaff. You can park there, the parking is free, and it just makes it really nice when you land, you can get in your car, and you can be home within a matter of five minutes. Uh, not only that, we're about two miles away from Fort Tuthill. That's where the Coconino County Fair is held. Uh, the rodeo is held there. They have Flagstaff Extreme. They have the Flagstaff Bike Park, uh, the Pepsi Amphitheater. Uh, there's always kinds, uh, some type of, type of event going on over at Fort Tuthill. They have camping there. They have a archery range there. Um, so that makes it super easy. They've just add extended and added a um, connection from the Ponderosa Trails neighborhood on the urban trail system down you go under the I-17 which makes it super easy so you can ride your bike there go to see a concert go to the rodeo and ride your bike home uh, so that's one of the other things that we really like about this neighborhood and we take advantage of quite often if you do have small kids and they are going to be going to school there is mountain school within Ponderosa Trails neighborhood now this is a charter elementary school this is actually where we sent our kids when they were younger uh, it goes to fifth or sixth grade. I can't remember exactly now um, what grade it goes up to, uh, but that's where we sent our kids and it's an awesome little school in the, in the neighborhood. So it was cool, I mean, you know, when our kids were, I think in third grade, we were letting them ride their bikes to school on the urban trail. Um, and it was maybe, 
don't know, a quarter mile, something like that, from our house to, to Mountain School. And so a lot of kids do that. A lot of kids you'll see riding their bikes to school. A lot of parents are walking their kids on the urban trail to the school. And uh, it just made it really easy for us uh, to have our kids there and to be within the neighborhood because then they make a lot of friends that live in the neighborhood. Um, they can go to the park there after school and play. Um, and it just makes for a good, you know, kind of community feel. So that was one of the main draws for us coming to Ponderosa Trails. So if I had to give a grade to Ponderosa Trails, it, for me, it would be an A+. Again, this is where my wife and I, we wanted to be. This is where we've raised our kids. This is where we currently live. Uh, we have a lot of friends here, a lot of coworkers, and it's just a great neighborhood overall. So if you have any questions, if you want more information about the neighborhood, if you're looking to buy or sell in Ponderosa Trails or in the Flagstaff area, again, you can give me a call, send me an email. My information is down below. I'll have another neighborhood review coming up shortly. Talk to you then. Thanks, guys.